hi, I'm Chris at Chris, and welcome to So Cool All Science, science you can do right at home. I'm just cleaning my windows with a solution, and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... Can you dissolve a liquid in a liquid? Well, that's a great question. Try this. You will need some rubbing alcohol, a piece of paper, and a lighter. This is a gas dissolved in a liquid. This is a solid dissolved in a liquid. And this rubbing alcohol is a liquid dissolved in a liquid. Oh yeah, by the way, I should probably tell you, do not drink the rubbing alcohol. There, I'll tell you what, I'll even prove it to you. Check this out. Uh, one more thing. This $20 bill. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, you, should, you know, should stick to using regular paper for this. <laughs> but I'm going to use the $20 bill. <laughs> okay, dunk your piece of paper in the rubbing alcohol solution and make sure it's entirely coated. Then set on a flat surface so it doesn't burn the counter. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you're younger, don't do this. You know, get your babysitter to do it. You know, because they're not paid to eat chips. <laughs> All right, you're going to light your piece of paper on fire like this. Yes! <laughs> now that is so wicked cool. The bill caught on fire, but it didn't burn up. So why doesn't the dollar bill... <laughs> well, don't look at me. Take a closer look. A solution is a mixture of two or more substances where the molecules are evenly dispersed throughout each other. Rubbing alcohol is a liquid dissolved in a liquid because the alcohol molecules evenly fill in the spaces between the water molecules. Solutions are different from colloids because colloid mixtures are just unevenly trapped pockets of molecules in other molecules. When you light the alcohol solution soaked piece of paper, the alcohol ignites. The water portion of the solution doesn't ignite and absorbs most of the heat energy, which is why the paper doesn't burn. The alcohol burning away, leaving just the bill, proves that the alcohol was dissolved in the water. Of course, if the heat energy vaporizes the water, then it will burn up the paper, which is why you should use regular paper and not money. All three phases of matter can be a solvent or something that dissolves other matter and even be dissolved by a solvent. However, the most common solvent is liquid water, which dissolves gases, liquids, and solids very well. Solids can also dissolve the three phases of matter, such as gases being added to metal, mercury being dissolved in gold, and alloyed metals such as bronze, which are solid, dissolved in a solid. Gases can only dissolve other gases, such as the Earth's atmosphere is dissolved gases in nitrogen. So now you know more about solutions. You know, setting a $20 bill on fire and it doesn't burn is why science is so cool.